Hi y'all, we're Ellick and Cindy from Sharing the Journey. As you know, we travel across the country work camping one place at a time, and it's time for us to move on. So we are here today at the Tool Hiking and Bike Trail in downtown Rockport. We're headed up to Montana to work the summer in Yellowstone, and we have gotten out of shape. So we're gonna try to get back in shape by taking this first hike of the season, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And we're gonna talk about the upcoming adventure and our plans along the way. So if you hear a lot of huffing and puffing, don't judge. <laughs> see you back on down the trail. So the information says that this is a 10 foot wide, mile long concrete trail designed to accommodate multi-users with the purpose of linking pedestrians to schools, business, recreation, residential destinations. Now, the sign we saw at the beginning said that this is a part of the system that, that will allow people to leave the city and get back to nature. They have kayak uh, ramp here to get in the little creek and all that kind of stuff. So this is what we need so we can go from this to climbing mountains in Yellowstone. This is a very well kept trail. We've been on lots of trails and uh, this has been one of the nicest kept ones. So far, no huffing and puffing. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Cindy's over here making fun of my mountain climbing. We're going mountain climbing. I ain't never seen any mountain climb. So we've got a lot of new subscribers thanks to the Camping World video and the Sarasota Tim video. I bet we've picked up close to a thousand subscribers in the last month. So not all of y'all know, you know, what we are doing this summer. So we're here for a couple more weeks in Rockport, Texas, where we are work camping at the KOA. And we are driving approximately 2000 miles up to Montana. We're gonna be in West Yellowstone where Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho come together and uh, we were there last summer and we spent almost all our time off between Quake Lake, Yellowstone, and the Tetons, right? Mm -hmm. And we plan on doing that again. We didn't bring y'all much content last year from those places and... But there's also places in Idaho that we need to go to. Yes. That you know, we should have tried to visit last year, but you know, you can only do so much. Well, and you can't do Yellowstone in a weekend. No, that's everybody's biggest mistake. They come in and they want to try to do it in three days. Which is impossible. All you're going to be able to do is hit a few of the highlights. And you're not really going to be able to experience it and you're going to be hopeful to see um, maybe a small portion of the animals that are there. Yeah, and we only um, made it to the Tetons twice and we didn't even scratch the surface there. No, not at all. So what is the, um, if you were to tell somebody that's leaving Texas or anywhere and going to Yellowstone, What's the number one place they should visit? I don't know. There's a lot. <laughs> what did you like the best? In Yellowstone? Yes. That's a hard one too. Why are you putting me on the spot? You know I don't like to be put on the spot. So my favorite thing from Yellowstone was the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Yeah, but you hadn't seen the real Grand Canyon. Well, we might on the way up. Never know. So we've got to figure out a problem with our generator that won't stay running because I like to boondock now that Cindy has forced me into doing it. <laughs> I'm cheap. I don't want to pay for camping. I want to boondock along the way. But if we can't get the generator running, we'll be campgrounding it all the way up. So if we don't have to go find somewhere to get the generator fixed and spend however long it is, we plan on stopping in either the Grand Canyon or Bryce's Canyon. No, well, we could do that too. But <laughs> don't give me any ideas, <laughs> just ask me. Um, 
I wanted to try to hit Zion. Zion, that's it. But I just read on Facebook um, where a couple planned, a, I guess they were there the end of March because it's just now the 1st of April. Um, they were in March at the Grand Canyon and it snowed on them. Oh, so we did that two years ago. I don't want to do snow again. Yeah, so we're going to have to watch the weather. Um, I'm trying to get him to go over towards Zion. Everybody says um, Bryce. What is it? Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon is a must-see, just like Arches is a must-see. Um, but we did Arches on the way down here. So I'd like to either do Zion, Bryce, or the Grand Canyon. We'll see. So we did a playlist on our trip from Montana to Texas. You can see the route we went there if you want to watch those videos. I think they were enjoyable. We went to Canyonlands and Arches and had a great time. Stopped at a couple campgrounds, did some boondocking. You have to go back and watch the video. We're going to continue on the walk and we'll come back in a few minutes. And we're going to also do another video on our way back to Yellowstone, right? We're going to do a video. whole travel series going back up. So you can prepare for that too. <laughs> so one thing that uh, people have asked us is, and mostly new subscribers because we've said this in some of our older videos, but when we're in Ye West Yellowstone, uh, we'll be working this year at just one park. Last year, I split my time between two parks and Cindy worked at one, but we will be working at West gate koa which is a lovely park if you've never done uh the if you've never done yellowstone it's a great place to stay uh, but we're going to be working there cindy's going to be managing the store and i'm going to be the lead outside host so i'm not sure what our schedule will be or anything but we'll be up there i think that what is it five and a half months is how long the park is open so it's a short season it's five months and what we like about going up there is we are trying to chase 70 degrees which is the goal of all full-time RVers and like today it's 80 something degrees here in Texas we've overstayed our welcome because it's starting to get too hot but um, when we go up there it's in the 50s at night and 60s oh, to 70s during the day. Show the flowers. Got all these little baby flowers coming out. Well, Alex can tell me they're weeds. They are weeds. Wait a minute, but they're pretty. Oh, puppy dog over there is not happy with. Are they pretty? They say springtime. They do say springtime. But so we'll be up there for five months and then we leave there. We are going to South Carolina to um, clean out our storage unit, which is the biggest mistake we've made so far. Everybody makes it. Yep. So don't be us. When you go full time and if you get rid of everything, get rid of it all. Don't no. pay it's a process that everybody has to go through because when you decide to do it you don't want to let go of certain things it's all a process life's a process i'm paying five thousand dollars a year to store fifteen hundred dollars worth of crap and we'll see how much of it he can talk me into getting rid of all of it that'll be a whole nother video so we're going back to south carolina for um at least two months and then we're scheduled to come back to Rockport. We're still undecided on that. Uh, new manager, so we haven't made a commitment to her yet. Well, and we don't know what life's going to hold at the end of the season when we go back to South Carolina either. Because we have to think about your mom and everything else. Yep. So we may just try to find some jobs down there local for the season. We have got so far an open invitation to continue to go back to Yellowstone, which if I had to find a place to live, Montana is high on my bucket list. 
And plus, I can see lots of stuff when we travel to and from there. Yes. We can just keep taking different routes. There you go, especially if we leave South Carolina next time <laughs> to go there. Right off the trail, we stumbled on Rockport Community Pool. We're going to go in there and see if we can take a look around. I had no idea this was here. I have a splash pad on one side. It's like a pickleball court in the back. Slides. And this side is a really big swimming pool. So um, it's amazing if you leave your camper and go explore, you find stuff that you never knew was here. We've, this city park has been here the whole time. We've been here for going on seven months, almost seven months. Well, it's kind of hidden right behind the high school. I think that's the high school over yeah. there. So if you're in Rockport and you want to vid visit the city pool, bring $5 each and you can spend the day at the pool. It's a really nice pool too. Oh, the lizard. Where'd he go? Once again, we <laughs> are unprepared. I decided to wear a black shirt, hiking in 87 degree weather. Cindy wore flip flops. She's got her hair up. But we, yeah, I got my hair up now cause you know, got a little hot. We did bring water bottles. That's about all we did. <laughs> so we're headed back to the car. We've gone about three quarters of a mile up. I was about so, to say, I doubt we made it the whole way. No, we didn't make it the whole way, but I think I saw the end. And we're going to head back to the car. Maybe and... we'll see some birds on the way back. So I don't know if you can see over there the birds in the... Waiting in the water. Waiting in the water. That's the only thing I don't like about these GoPros is they really don't zoom in very well. So, did we make the two miles? One there and one back? No, but we came close. It's hot out there, sun beating down on my black shirt. Anyway, we went about a mile and a half. I'm good with that. We, hey, anything's better than nothing. We got a long way to go to get to our Montana <laughs> mountain hiking. Mountain climbing. Mountain climbing <laughs> ability. But anyway, we just wanted to give you a quick update of what the plans are coming up. Today is the 2nd of April. This will be posted in a couple of days. We've got a couple weeks worth of, or two weeks worth of videos kind of saved up in the hopper. We leave here on the 21st. Probably the videos for going up to Montana will start shortly thereafter. And uh, we're either gonna go from here to Red Bay, Alabama to get the generator fixed, or we're gonna go from here up to Utah. Where is it? that? She said that she... Oregon. Oregon, the other Utah. <laughs> up to Oregon to get the generator fixed and then straight over to Montana. Or the generator will be fixed before we leave and we're going to do a lot of happy adventures. Well, we're going to do happy adventures no matter what. Right. So either way, <laughs> there's a lot of traveling involved. I think it was eight videos coming down. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun making them. We want you to join us for our travels. We wanted you to know now that we have loosely firmed up our summer plans. And what I mean by that is we know where we're going. We just don't know how we're going to get there. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Loosely summer plans? Yeah, we're, we know where we're going. We're going to Yellowstone, but we don't know yet if we got to get the generator fixed if we're going to the Grand Canyon, if we're going to Bryce's Canyon, oh, if we're well going to Oregon, if we're going to Alabama. He's traveling with me. He never knows what he's doing. So anyway, we hope you stay with us. We hope you uh, follow us for our journey. And then I hope you enjoy our trip and our stay for five months in Montana with us. Until the next one, happy camping. Y'all stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.